five, a flood emergency in San Jose. Neighborhoods completely underwater. Residents evacuated by boat as the Coyote Creek rages over its banks. Good evening. I'm Ken Bastida. And I'm Elizabeth Cook. Two of the worst hit areas are in South San Jose, an apartment complex underwater at 12th and Keys, and several homes flooded at Center and Phelan Avenue. All of this near Kelly Park. And we begin our team coverage with our Kit Doe, who has been watching some dramatic rescues all day long. Kit? Yeah, the uh, uh, most recent number that we have is uh, 243 people evacuated from this scene here at uh, Center and Phelan. As you can see here, these cars are uh, underwater right now. Uh, the firefighters have been uh, cruising through the streets in their boats using bullhorns, but it looks like uh, they are slowly winding this scene down. They're trying to see if there are any stragglers left behind here. Uh, at this point, we thought the waters might have uh, started to recede, but we are seeing them slowly start to inch back up. This, as the city has declared, a state of emergency. It was a disaster in slow motion. 500 buildings to search, nearly 200 victims, and just three boats. As the hours grew long, some residents got tired of waiting and decided enough was enough. Huang Nguyen took a gamble, hoping he wouldn't trip and fall. He made it and disagrees with rescue crews who said it was too dangerous. I don't think so, he says. I waited, but when no one came, I figured it was time to go. As the water spilled in from Coyote Creek, it was cold and murky. As it filtered through the neighborhoods, it became a noxious stew of sewage, dirty diapers, and engine oil. The firefighters urged everyone to stay put and wait for rescue. Once on land, the victims were decontaminated with soap and water. The elderly, the babies, and the pets then all loaded onto county buses for a ride to the shelter. Juanita Wilson said her belongings started to float around her apartment. It's like a nightmare. It's kind of like something where you don't really believe it's happening, but it is happening. You look tired. Yeah. Just a little bit overwhelmed with everything that's happened. Margaret Cervantes lives on the second story. She lost her car but was able to grab some valuables. I was fortunate enough to be able to grab baby books, pictures, clothes, my, my children, you know. So I feel very fortunate. As if that wasn't enough, just a few blocks away, Coyote Creek flooded another apartment complex on 12th at Keys. Three more buildings were under a mandatory evacuation. Eric Lamb had been watching the news and was ready with um, his bags packed. The water started coming in, and then it came in more and more and more and more. And then finally, the fire department showed up, told us that. Uh, Everyone had to get out. With flood water still rising, the city issued a voluntary evacuation order for low lying areas near Coyote Creek between Capitol Expressway and 880. The mayor said today should be a warning and to take these recommendations seriously. I think anybody's in a low lying area along Coyote Creek in that region I described uh, should be finding an alternative place to sleep tonight. And that is some nasty, nasty flood waters there. The fire department warned us that if we got in there, they would have to decontaminate us as well. One, fire, one firefighter said that this was the worst, uh, biggest rescue that he has seen in 35 years. Back to you. A horrible mess kit. Has crews, do they, have, do they have any idea when they think the waters will recede? I know it's still early. Yeah, you know, it's uh, kind of a, just a, a guessing game out here, but the uh, one time frame that we've heard is that they think it'll start receding right around 3 a.m. tomorrow morning. All right. Way sooner than that. All right, Kit, thank you.